Hey everyone, Ryan here, we're out in our productions and welcome to my Brick Fair Virginia 2019 haul. Let's begin. We have so much Lego to get through here. First up, we have the TIE Fighter Attack Set, which I actually bought uh, for, I think, 10 bucks. I figured, why not have a second one? We also got the Lego Atlantis Guardian of the Deep set for $20. This was actually uh, through the Slade Child Foundation thing, charity thing that Brick Fair does every year. I believe this is a small box version of this set, and they had quite a few there, so I was able to get one for $20. Bucks. Happy about that. Then my friend LJ Johnson, big Bionicle fan, actually brought me Tahu, the Bionicle. I'll be building and reviewing this set on my channel at some point very, very soon because, well, I guess I gotta dabble in some Bionicle here. I think this is the most popular or famous Bionicle. He's like the logo guy or something. So I'll look into that and we'll definitely get that done. I also have Quite, and sorry, I apologize. I'm kind of bending down behind me to pick stuff up. I have quite a few parts from uh, the just Brick Fair event. So we got some uh, teal pink stuff. We have a couple of printed tiles. I ended up with two of those somehow. And then we also have like the parts from the brick badge that I didn't need to use. I got a few poly bags here. The first ones here I actually got just kind of very luckily. I was walking by uh, a guy and he had these two out on the table and I'm like, I need to buy those. Why did I need to buy these? Because these are two separate sized poly bags, but they're the same poly bag, which of course, if you guys know me well enough, I collect small boxes and I was like, well, what's better than a small box? A small poly bag. So apparently small poly bags existed and I didn't know of that. So now I got to get on that. Speaking of poly bags, I also got a couple of these Batman Tumblr poly bags, one of which I'll be sending to a friend of mine, the other one which will be for my personal collection. I think I paid like $6.50 each for those, so I couldn't pass those up at the time. I did go to the Lego store while I was there, which is where I actually spent more money than I think I spent at the convention, which is kind of funny. Um, I bought six Prickovert cups. They're in this bag. And let's uh, take these out of here. We got quite a few pieces different odds and ends of random stuff that I know I didn't need, but I bought anyway. There we go. Oh, hey, my sunglasses are in here. Nice. And one more cup. And I also, uh, yeah, so my sunglasses are in there. Nice. Good to know. Get that out of the way. But yeah, six cups here. You guys can get a good look at some of the parts inside some of these. I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but that's what I do every time I buy a pick a brick cup. Um, I just buy them and someone's hair is on there. Very cool. Got some uh, water studs in there. Just figured I'd add a little bit more to the collection. There you guys go. This ball, this one's really light. <laughs> and then we have this one here with a bunch of like dark red tiles. But yeah, a lot of pick a brick. And I also bought quite a few sets while I was at the Lego store there as well. You got the Minecraft Creeper Mine. Very awesome set. 80 bucks. Throw that in the back there and these are all august 2019 sets so that's why i decided to pick them up while i was there we got the uh bubaton's carriage arrival at hogwarts so i'll have my full harry potter's 2019 collection now because somewhere in here we have another harry potter set there it is the rise of voldemort set that one was 20 that one was 40 or 50 i can't remember and again the creep of mine was uh 80 we have this awesome Lego Movie 2 Good Morning Sparkle Babies. So we got the sewer babies, kind of in a cute little form there. Nice little cute set for 10 bucks. Couldn't say no to that. Figured it'd be a fun one to review on the channel. Bring my bag up here a little closer. And we have the Hidden Side JB's Ghost Lab which I thought was a pretty neat set uh, for 20 bucks. And I also wanted another hidden side set, so I went and picked it. I just decided that's the one I would pick up while I was there. And then lastly, from the Lego store, the Lego Movie 2 Sistar Party Crew. And I'm not a huge fan of the build in this set. Really, the only reason I bought this set was for that Benny. So I might end up selling the rest of the set at some point, probably uh, next year at Brick Fair, which I actually sold a lot of stuff at Brick Fair this year. So I was actually very happy about that. And then while at the Lego store, it was free with the $200 purchase this like bag so that's nice i guess it's reversible it has an inside there but i'm not going to bother with any of that i did actually just go to target and i kind of want to include this as part of my haul video because i would have bought this at the lego store if i was thinking straight but uh, i also bought the wrecked shrimp boat so that will also be seeing a review on my channel very soon very cool hidden side sets harry potter sets i just figured i wanted to get a few summer sets and that's what i did with kind of all that stuff i forgot a few things so we had a misprinted uh 
Trooper helmet here, you can see the red is below the mouth line there. Very interesting misprint. Uh, I also got Pong Krell, Commander Krell or something. Uh, I didn't have him, so I bought him from Timmy for 10 or 15 bucks. So I had sold this figure, so I'm glad I got one back. I also got my badge bricks here. Stranger Things, No Days Off, and Brick Fair, Virginia 2019. And of course, my MR tile to fill that out, which looks really clean there. But yeah, that's what my badge was looking like, although I didn't really wear it this year. So that's a thing. Um, and then I got a bunch of these. Um, real Lego. Just uh, probably not obtained in the most legitimate way. Uh, one of the vendors there was selling these for practically a dollar each. And I bought some. I got like $25 worth here. So. Don't know what to make of that, but uh, yeah, let's go back to the rest of the haul video. Now we have a few more things. We'll go with uh, our box of stuff that I got from my fans. You guys were awesome. You guys actually brought me quite a bit of, of stuff here. We have a letter from Spencer E, which I'm not going to like open and read on camera. And we have some sunglasses, Coca-Cola sunglasses. Uh, my friend Peyton gave me his brick there. We have a Commander Pimp Daddy clone head, which is kind of interesting. Um... So that's a thing. Uh, I got quite a bit of fake Lego. So like these are like fake Clone Army Customs, I think. Fake Count Dooku here. Got a fake Darth Vader right here. So these will all go in my fake Lego bin to be used at some point. Um, I think I have one more fake Lego figure in here if I come across it. Oh yeah, here it is. Fake Final First Trooper. So a lot of fake Lego from you guys. <laughs> you guys just seem to like to give me fake stuff. Um, I also got a couple of K2SO uh, heads from a fan, which was very nice of him. He got quite a few of these. So he's like, hey, Ryan, do you want these? I'm like, I guess. <laughs> I can't say no to free Lego. So, yeah, I don't know what I'll do with these. Maybe Corey will want them or something, but those are there. Um, this is also fake. Uh, whoever this character is from the Old Republic, very clearly a knockoff, but uh, it's in, like a little plastic case. I think someone said they bought this at, like a con and they just weren't paying attention. And so they ended up with it. I think this is a unprinted Clonerby Customs helmet that someone gave me in olive green, which is kind of neat. Don't know what I'll ever use that for, but it exists. Um, we got a Mandalorian that somebody gave me, and I, I apologize, I don't remember everyone's names in conjunction with what they gave me, I'm really sorry, but that's just, um, unless I had written it down on the spot, it's impossible. Uh, the Lego Store Master Builder Event Duplo Brick from 2009, I want to say, so that one's pretty cool. And we got this bag, which is me on a Lepin plate but i think the figure is real so kind of cool and then we have some money in there or like gold pieces and uh, a phone which is very nice uh what else we have jim blade's sig fig here jim blade 8301 i want to say jim blade but i usually just call him jim blade so i don't always remember the numbers uh someone gave me this tile the guy who eventually i think bought my death star gave me this tile of uh his car there, or his custom drawn car. Uh, someone gave me this tile of Captain Rex, very clean looking one there. Um, I think these were from Simon Liu. He just had a ton of these and I was like, oh, can I have some? And he's like, yes, and I, why do I need these? I don't know, but I have them now, so that's cool. I didn't win the contest because I didn't enter, by the way. We have this figure who is, I believe, supposed to be me. We have, oh shoot, this is like a 3D printed one by two uh, plate from Lego or a Lego plate, kind of neat. Never had anything 3D printed before, so just kind of a cool thing to own, I suppose. We have this figure whom I forget gave to me. It's Con Lug, Connecticut Lug. So someone in Con Lug gave this to me and I just don't remember who. So that's a thing. Um, we also got a Policeman series 19, series 7, 18 Policeman? Yeah, Series 18, please, man. And then we have a couple of Walker things in here, which I, one of them's an ATACT, called it. And I don't remember the names, and they've kind of fallen apart, unfortunately, um, in transit. So I got to figure out how these go back together. I guess on video is not the the prime time to be doing this, but they they both they're in uh, red and blue, and they both have legs which attach somewhere. And they can actually stand up, which is pretty neat. There we go. I think I got that kind of rebuilt. It's probably wrong, but you see it can stand up. And they both had a figure on them. One of them, I believe, is either me or the guy that gave them to me. I can't remember what he said. And then also gave me a, very nicely, a uh, airborne trooper. So that's really awesome as well. So thank you very much for that. And then, like, 
someone gave me this, which is just like bonkers. Um, the Shadow Arc Trooper from 2011, and it's sealed in the bag. So I was like, oh my god, you are out of your mind. <laughs> so apparently I, I mentioned this in a video. Like I already have one of these. Obviously I've opened it, but um, apparently it was like one of my... He's like, do you remember your top 15 Lego poly bags video? And I was like, yes. And he's like, oh, well, I got you this. And I'm like, oh, my God. Um, he also got Just Too Good at Darth Revan, but obviously Just Too Good wasn't there. I, I guess he thought he might be there, but Just Too Good doesn't go to conventions, so he doesn't want to show his face. So he just had me sign the Darth Revan, which I thought was funny. So I signed that for him, and uh, he was, I think, happy about that, I guess. But, yeah, but thank you again to uh, everybody who brought me stuff. You guys are incredibly kind and thoughtful for thinking to bring me fake Lego of course. <laughs> so that's all like the fan stuff that fans gave me though. Quite a bit of stuff. Um, you guys are out of your minds, but thank you again. And obviously this year I decided um, I didn't want to have nothing to give people, especially if they gave me something. Uh, but everyone that came up and met me, um, I gave, uh, where are they? These tiles. I had 250 of them. I have about like seven left now. So they're just like M&R tiles that uh, my friend Peyton printed for me. So very nice little thing to give to people um, when they came up and said hello. And obviously it's not like a trade thing. You don't have to give me something to get these. I was literally just giving these out um, with no, like all you have to do is say hello and like acknowledge that you knew me was the idea. Um, so I gave out almost all of these, which was insane to me. So that is that. And uh, I actually did get one more thing from a fan. It's on my backpack. Where's my backpack? This little VIP keychain. So that goes pretty nicely on my backpack as a little keychain. Obviously I don't put keychains on my keys cause then that's way too much to carry around, but they actually fit nicely on my backpack. So I might start loading my backpack up with more of those, but then again, it might weigh it down. So I got a couple more things here, a couple more big ticket items. We got the Drumstrang ship, and this is obviously a Harry Potter set. I want to say from like 2005. I bought it from the garage sale, or actually the day after the garage sale, because I was going to buy it at the garage sale, and I was going back and forth on it. I got the price down to 175, and I was like, I'm going to sleep on this one. And the guys, and I'm like, bring this back tomorrow with a bow on top of it, and I'll give you 180. So next day, he comes back with a bow on the set, and I bought it for 180. You'll see that in the vlog. That was very fun. So I think we were both pretty happy with that. Um, just like a fun little exchange. And the final thing that I got, at least that I think I got, because my room is a disaster right now, and there might be more stuff hiding, ah, hiding around uh, elsewhere. There we go. Um, is this. It's the store display of Pose X-Wing from Target, and it cost me $75, so I couldn't say no. It was also at the garage sale. It's one of the two things that I bought at the garage sale between that and the drum string. I was mostly selling my stuff at the garage sale, though, so I was kind of preoccupied. I sold everything that I brought, though, which made me very happy. You guys can check out uh, that whole process in the vlog. But, yeah, I bought this for $75, bucks, which I thought was a pretty good deal, and uh, that is my Brick Fair haul. That's everything, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Keep your eye out for videos on all these sets. This set I probably won't open for a couple years. Just got way too many things to work on outside of like an old Harry Potter set. So that's just not what I'm going to be working on right now. I might end up selling this at some point next year. Maybe like I just, I, I only bought it because it was so cheap. And then I realized, where am I going to put this? I don't know. It's not going to go in my room or anything. But that's my Brickfair Virginia 2019 haul. I spent a lot less money than last year, I think. And I'll I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.